Good morning, folks. What you're about to watch, you will not watch anywhere else. Fukushima, the nuclear rods have melted through the bottom of the nuclear reactor and are now into a layer of sulfur. Now, they said radiation levels at Fukushima so high it killed two robots. There's more than that. You will not hear about the fire that was created. The rods have now melted down into the sulfur. And what's happening is when they melted down into the sulfur, well, remember Los Angeles last December of 2015 when here in Los Angeles a plume of smoke began to come up? Almost all of this has been obliterated except on our video, Danger Los Angeles Gas Leaks Are Radioactive. Apparently there was an old nuclear reactor where they dumped two rods. They melted down into a layer of oil. And now the oil is coming out radioactive. And everything down, plume, down the plume is now radioactive. And people are dying and the doctors are not feeding the people seaweed and emucyst. They're treating them with chemicals and they're dying. Well, the same thing is happening now because the holes have leaked through. Now, at Fukushima, they could have used, I don't know what all these ads are, they could have used uh, lightning and they could have struck that 15 to 20 times and all 100,000 nuclear rods or 4 million pounds of radioactive material, if you get hit with 15 to 20 lightning strikes, will be neutralized. But they're trying to keep these reactors going. They don't want to stop making money. They are so greedy. And what's happening is, here's Japan, here's Korea, here's China. The Fukushima radiation is now spreading in a layer of sulfur that is covering the Pacific Ocean. And as it follows these particular wind patterns, red algae is coming up. Wherever this radioactive sulfur now is, it follows the wind patterns. They've got special names for it but they're wind patterns that we've seen on the planet, which are changing because the sun is changing. Some of the particular algaes, and they go into Placonium Pacificum and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, wherever the sulfur settles, the radioactive sulfur is turning the ocean red because it accelerates the growth of this algae, which uses all the oxygen in the ocean and then causes huge die-offs among the fish and the sea mammals, whales, sea otters, things like that. We're seeing huge, massive die-offs on the West Coast. We're not going to get into that. The church talks about this. They say, and a third of the angel poured, and the third angel poured out his vial on the rivers and the fountains of waters, and they became blood. Now, we talked about pouring cement on top of Fukushima. We talked about hitting it with lightning strikes. We talked a lot about a lot of things, but nobody's listening. TEPCO unaware of the cause of smoke and Nagato nuclear plant. 23rd of February. Did you know that they had a fire at the nuclear plant? No. This is completely covered up. We're asking you to pray that the people here at Fukushima and along all nuclear power plants do whatever is necessary to contain this nuclear fire and the sulfur now pummeling planet Earth, causing red algae. We are also asking you that the to pray that the people in Los Angeles cap this so that the radiation doesn't continue to go this way and they are treating the kids with chemicals, not, not seaweed, not knocking the radiation off their houses. They're simply treating them with chemicals for the symptoms. This is the most disgusting and despicable use of our medical community when they know exactly what's going on. Those are two nuclear rods melted down into the oil later, and that is radioactive oil. They're putting it through filters, but you cannot filter out radioactive, the radioactive particles. So people are dying in America, in Los Angeles, of radiation poisoning. This story has been obliterated across the net, except here. Danger, Los Angeles. Gas leaks are radioactive. William Mount. It's the only story that we can find on it that's not been purged. Because we're talking about a lot of things like where the next nuclear false flag is and where the next presidential assassination is. Don't kill my presidents. Don't crack my planet in half. And now you're killing my planet. We pray that those responsible for this are immediately immobilized for life and that people rise up to change this so these red tidal zones being caused by the meltdown of Fukushima are stopped. 
Now there are probably 30 places in this world where there are 100,000 nuclear rods or more. And uh, the Rothschilds are busy trying to create a crisis at each and every one of them. Pray that the greed in the pigs of Japan ceases and they hit that nuclear reactor with lightning strikes to neutralize the radiation. It's the only thing that will work. In this case, nothing will work. You've got two nuclear reactors that have sprouted a leak. The only thing you can do is filter it and evacuate the area that's being affected. There is no other, nothing else you can do that I know of. You could stick a metal rod down there and hit, hit that with huge amounts of lightning, but it may cause a huge internal explosion. Um, folks, we want to thank you for coming. We need some emergency prayers because Fukushima has exploded, causing nuclear rods to go deep into the ground into a layer of sulfur, causing a plume of sulfur to cover the Pacific Ocean, and where the winds go, the red tide follows. This is the collapse of the entire fishing industry in all of eastern Japan. It is the collapse of perhaps the Hawaiian fishing zone. Folks, we want to encourage you to go to the video, The Cure for Cancer. We want to encourage you to start eating seaweed and immunocysts. There's nothing else that works that we know of. Thank you very much. The China syndrome has occurred both in Los Angeles and it's still going on just because they don't give you the infrared pictures. It's still occurring, but they've blocked you from talking about it. So the China syndrome has a, where nuclear rods melt into the oil layer has occurred in Los Angeles and now in Fukushima. Two nuclear rods, potential of 100,000 nuclear rods caused by a fire which then melted down into unbelievable unbelievable stuff you will not hear anything about it and TEPCO power is so greedy that they're going to kill the oceans God bless thank you for coming this is a supplemental video we need your prayers thank you God bless and good night